Hello, thank you for joining me. We are reviewing LinkedIn profiles. Recently, I've been doing far more coaching and I'm elated that that is occurring. I am a certified veterinary coach, career coach specifically. In the past, uh, there's been a veterinarian that reached out to me saying, I'm writing articles now for a magazine. They want me to have a LinkedIn profile. So we're gonna help her create a LinkedIn profile. A veterinary technician wants to grow within her corporate setting as in a veterinary hospital. She wants to start stepping into more of that leadership development um, and training piece. I was like, great, let's start with your LinkedIn pro profile, elevate your gifts in those areas. Another veterinary technician is eager to become a specialist, although within her practice, that's not gonna so much occur because of where she wants to go and what she wants to be. Um, so we're gonna beef it up and look at it and find a place for her to become that specialist, to grow that career, all sorts of reasons. And to be honest, if you're a veterinary professional, regardless of your position on the veterinary hospital, I feel that of all the social platforms that a LinkedIn profile will definitely help you one, see your own gifts and recognize how outstanding you are and elevate that within you. That's a great exercise in and of itself. And even your veterinary hospital too can be uh, using your LinkedIn profile to elevate all the people with on your team. Anyway, that's another whole conversation. Uh, the numbers have grown substantially on LinkedIn. I've been on LinkedIn for easily over a decade. Uh, so let's dive in. We're gonna hit it very high just to look at your profile and see how to um, amp it up right away. <clears throat> So this is a recent post of mine. As an influencer, I post at least a few times a week and I'm commenting on other people's posts almost daily. Um, I will have invitations to connect with people on a daily basis. Um, so this was a past post on without the approval of others. That was the name of the article self-love but what you're interested in is seeing this over here on the left because this is what your profile is going to look like it's your your profile of your face we're going to talk about why is it important that we just have a really good picture of you that's approachable the banner for your individual profile and your summary so here my profile name is rebecca rose certified veterinary technician that's who i am um, I'm Catalyst Veterinary Professional Coaches. That's my business. Um, I am a certified career coach. And I put in my strengths, which are from the Clifton Strength Finders. Um, and my R, strategy, futuristic connectedness, woo, and positivity. But there's all sorts of ways for you to approach that. That's just how mine reads right now. Um, I've got 4,000 followers as it sits. So we're gonna go over here to me. And this over here on the left. Now we're in my profile where we can edit it. See how it's got all of these little edit buttons. So this here at the top here is your banner, just like on Facebook page. I update mine on a monthly basis. We'll talk about what this should look like and why. And then over here is your profile. Now, I really am serious about how your profile looks. I don't want you holding on to a puppy that's over three quarters of your face or have sunglasses on or have a hat on. This is about you. This is about your presence. This is who you are and how approachable are you? Uh, oftentimes, you know, before COVID, uh, I would be meeting 
people for the first time at a coffee shop. So I would look on their profile and see what they looked like. And I know people were doing that for me. So consider, does this profile currently reflect the way you look? This is not your graduation from college a decade ago. This is not you and your family's grandmother's birthday party. This is you as a professional. And how would people find you? How would people see this? If you change your hair color frequently, then I suggest you change your profile frequently. If you are going through glasses frequently, make sure that there's an updated picture with you and your glasses. If you don't wear a lot of makeup and you, for some reason, have a profile that has you all made up, go the natural route for you. All right, this is actually a selfie that I took at Breckenridge. It's very nice. And you can simply uh, see that um, I'm smiling. That's a good thing. There's a good sun on my face. I'm not covered by something. There's not a shadow. Uh, this was a portrait selfie where you know you use the, the portrait piece on your, your phone. You can simply upload different ones here. I'm not going to do it here because I'm going to have other examples, but you would add the photo here. If you do not have a profile picture, I'm high priority, get a profile picture. Then let's talk about your banner. Um, I do change my banner at least on a monthly basis, but if, if this is, you're setting this up and you change it maybe three, six months, that's okay. Um, maybe if you're going to an event and you want to show people that you're going to an event, you can set that there. So this is the, I touched the edit button and I want to change this or did I just, I'm going to edit it here. Uh, what was there? I have a lot of bars up. Here we go. Change photo. I'm going to upload a photo. There are some that are here, but I suggest you make it about you. Uh, if you're working within a veterinary hospital, um, make it about you, maybe in a surgical case or something along those lines. Um, uh, making sure that you don't have your mask on. Um, maybe you're doing something with the client. That would be fantastic. Uh, have it you smiling. I'm gonna, I have one that's called RR Laughs. I thought it was already loaded, but obviously that was not right. I apologize. There it is. There it is. All right. So this is a picture of me doing a program. I'm over here on the right. See how everybody's laughing is a good thing. Uh, and then apply. Oh, crud. Apply. There. Um, not a real clear, crisp one. I just found this. You would find one that is reflective of uh, what you do, how approachable you are, how specialized you are, uh, maybe even a, a picture of what you really, really want to do in your career. As an example, I mentioned that woman that wants to become specialized. Super. Maybe she's already had a place where she was presenting. Um, using that as a reflection of where you want to go and what you want to do. Oh, and that was my kitty with the candle. All right, so that is saved. So then the next piece here is what's under your title. Um, the summaries that you have. This is where you can place and update your title. Here is your headline. 
Catalyst Veterinary Professional Coaches. If you are a veterinarian, if you are a credentialed veterinary technician, if you have any specialized training, this goes there. Maybe you're a recent graduate of a management course. That would be a good thing to place there. Maybe there's a, a recent um, training in preventing suicide. That would be something that you could even put there if that's important or reflective of, of your career now or where you wanna take it. Your current position, veterinary owner, uh, lead technician, um, credentialed veterinary technician, practice manager, where you reside. And then going into sections here. And your about page, that's the next place, the about. So <laughs> I like hashtags. I'm not recommending that everybody use hashtags, but I really do feel that the vet med rocks and that I am a vet med career coach. So I like to tag into that. I'm integrating a healthy, sustainable life and career within veterinary medicine for veterinarians, technicians, nurses, assistants, practice managers. These, their careers are important to me. With 30 years of experience as a credentialed veterinary technician, industry leader, practice manager, author, nonprofit board member, and educational facilitator, Rebecca founded Catalyst. So you use the third person here and keywords as to what you want to do, where are you right now, and where do you want to go? Keywords as innovative, motivated, um, successful, um, quality medicine, surgical skills, those kinds of things. Those are your keywords to help people find you in what you do in your career. This says that we care about and understand veterinary teams. Catalyst Vet PC focuses on veterinary team professional development, career enhancement, retention, and teams living well. You can place uh, links to websites in this area too. All right, you're getting the, the gist of it. I didn't make any changes, but I'll save it anyway. And then be sure to add pictures so here's a picture of career choices for veterinary technicians, one of the books I've written. You may want to add, <clears throat> you know, I thought I had on here, my certificate in career coaching. Um, I'll simply take a picture of this, snap it or snip it and place it on there. And then your activities, this is what shows up as you being uh, posting and responding within the threads. I do recommend that you put your logo over here for experience going in here and adding those pictures. adding those logos, adding the branding that's important to you. This is where you would upload those pictures and links that are important to you. Could be your practice that you work at. It could be that you were the leader within an organization. It could be that in this case, um, I was just getting off of and completing the NAFTA, NAFTA leadership conference. Um, your work experience, make it relevant to what you're doing and where you want to grow your career. As an example, with the veterinarian that is writing articles, definitely highlight all of those. They would be placed also in the thread on a monthly basis. Um, here's an example. So let's go into my thread. 
So here's my updated banner over here. Um, I recently wrote an article that appeared in the Bowman Report. So it's over here. The wellness experts view there's always hope. Um, and I want to highlight that. So I'm gonna grab the link, copy paste. That's my Facebook page. I want to be on my LinkedIn page. <clears throat> so it will grab that photo associated with that link and have that. The wellness experts view, there's always hope. Um, another thing to do makes it really simple and easy is just grab a quote out of here. I like to believe COVID has pushed the momentum for well being. If it was somebody else that you were quoting, you'd grab that and, and put it in quotations. But since it's mine, I can just put it in here. Put it above this link. And then make a comment about this, you know. How are you and your team tapping into living well? Because that's the term I use. And how can we help? And this is where you'd add a some of those key hashtags. I use veterinarians, veterinary technicians. If you were doing specialty, you'd do the specialty pieces. If you're doing those articles, you would hashtag what your articles are about. I go CVPM because I like to tap into the certified veterinary practice managers. We do um, vet teams living well. And I realized that uh, I like to capitalize things like this because it helps pull out those words. And then we do veterinary teams living well. And Catalyst Vet PC. So uh, again, you would tap into the hashtags that you're following, that you want to follow, that you want to be a part of, that you want to people see, to people to see you. Um, we like healthy vet, healthy vet, and vet med career. All right, for me, what what do you want to hashtag into? And then you post it. All right. So just a quick recap of what we've done here. I need for you, especially if we're doing this for a career coaching exercise, to find that profile picture that's what makes you approachable, that makes you professional, that shows you, the current you. I need for you to create a banner that explains and shows who you are or who you want to be or who do you want to touch um, with the idea of the uh, veterinarian doing the articles, possibly grabbing that banner from uh, a picture of that article or even the logos from that company that you're working with. For me, I do a lot with veterinary practice news. So that might be something that I would, I would ha latch on to. How would I do that here? Let me show you because that's kind of cool. Um, do I have a veterinary practice news? I do have a veterinary practice news up here. Uh, this is an article by Ed, but here, let's find me real fast. And I'll show you how to snip something. Maybe you have an article or maybe there's uh, a PDF that you've done or something like this. Well, that's strange. Well, 
this isn't going as planned. Oh, it's because it's in the VPN network. That's why the plus, the plus piece, I see. Veterinary practice news. <laughs> Not going as a blend. There we go. Now we're in just the, the regular veterinary practice news. Hit the search. Oops. We're trying to find a snip here from, oh, here's the last article that was put on here. Uh, five self-sabotaging habits. So we wanna go into that. And if we want to snip this, it's a feature, it's an app that I have. I go down here and just do put in snip. Snipping tool, it's fabulous if you don't have it. So see how we're grabbing all of that right there. File, save as, I'm gonna, just gonna dump it onto my desktop. Sabotaging habits. The reason why I did this is because I was going to bring it over here and put it in my thread or put it in even um, a part of my profile. I think I'll just dump it in here for you. So again, um, what sabotaging habits do you relate to? So what I would do, this is just an example, um, put in the image And then grab the, the link. And put it in the thread as well. And then hashtag, but I'm not gonna do all of that. I'm just showing you again, this is how you can amp these up and post it. Okay, I'll go in later and delete that, but for now. Um, probably as we've gone through this and we've been highlighting some of those keywords, maybe there's things that are popping out for you. Be sure to grab those keywords, place them in the headline, place them in the summary, use hashtags if you're comfortable using hashtags, identify those keywords of who you are now and where you want to go and be in your career. Um, and this can be even for within your veterinary practice, right? If you are that learning and development manager, then highlight that here. If you are that trainer, that onboarding specialist, if you are that veterinary technician specialist in dentistry, if you're that veterinarian that does the surgeries, um, highlight what you're doing within that practice and bring yourself into that sphere of being an expert and make sure that your profile is reflective of all of that. All right. So this is just a tip of the iceberg, folks. There's so many other things that we can be doing in, link in LinkedIn. Those are just the highest priorities when you're updating your current LinkedIn profile. 
Um, I'm happy to dive in deeper. I'm, that's exactly what I do. I am a certified career coach. I have literally written the book on career choices and I can support you as a veterinarian, a veterinary technician, receptionist, manager, everybody. Um, industry partner, I've done that as well. Networking is my specialty. Um, and your career within veterinary medicine is very important to me. I know there's not very many people can say that <laughs> with conviction and passion and, and resources at my fingertips to support you in your career. Very good. Have a great day and reach out to me. You can find me and schedule an appointment on catalystvetpc.com discovery to action where you can see what that looks like and how to schedule an appointment with me. You can do a 45 minute a la carte, uh, especially if you're just starting into your um, LinkedIn. There's also a two hour option as an a la carte, but I also have VIP coaching and we have group synergy as well. Thank you. Take care.